We are simply four women whom destiny threw together more than a decade ago. Collectively, we have experienced extreme joys and deep sorrows that life offers us. From mundane moments to the dramatic and surreal, we have a history of six marriages, 10 children, four stepchildren, six dogs, two miscarriages, two cats, 12 koi fish, failed adoption, widowhood, foster parenthood. We have built companies, lost companies, and sold companies. One of us was shot and left for dead on the tarmac in South America. And two of us have lived through the death of spouses. We've had our hearts broken by affairs and mended through our friendships. We've known celebrity and loneliness, along with self-doubt and near financial ruin. We grew up in less than wealthy families, where living paycheck to paycheck was the norm. We've known more wealth than our parents could ever imagine, and we've lost more money than they ever made. We have won elections, lost elections, won Emmys, starred on TV, written books, and graced the covers of magazines. In our fast-paced career, careers, we've often been the only women at the table in deals made Silicon Valley style. We've taken risks that have bet the company, bet the election, and in some cases, bet the house. My fellow co-author, Jackie Spear, by the way. So our book is about surviving and thriving. That gives you a synopsis. My personal story is part of this book. I'm having a great life. I'm doing great television. In 1994, my husband is diagnosed with glioblastoma stage four, most aggressive kind of brain tumor that exists. I, of course, think I'm doing television. I'm going to do a story on this man, and he's going to be the one miracle. Six months after he was diagnosed, he died at the age of 46. Our children were 12, 10, and 6 years old at the time. So what one does to survive and thrive is what our book is all about. That when you think it cannot happen to you, it can. And what you do to rise above that is what our book is all about. Our book is filled with 30 stories from 30 other women who survived breast cancer and catastrophe. Jackie will tell you her story about being shot and left to die with tarmac in South America. But our book is about hope and vision there's a great saying, and we filled it with, with sayings, and one is from Dolly Parton who said, if you want to see the rainbow, you've got to put up with the rain. And all of us have done that in our lives. And I'm sure all of us have said, this is not the life I ordered. So for all of you who have said that, we give you our book. We also wanted to have in our book humor, because we think we women don't laugh enough. We don't give ourselves permission to laugh enough. So we filled our book with illustrations. Here's one of my favorites. These men are sitting at the boardroom table. The chair says, men, we're getting a lot of heat, so I'm raising women's pay to 70% of men's. Don't worry, guys. I'll make it up to you in bonuses. <laughs> Here's another one that I love. A woman with the suitcase goes up to her husband who's watching television in his armchair and she says, honey, I'm running out for 30 or 40 years. Don't worry, there's food in the fridge. <laughs> Here's another last one. We've got dozens of um, illustrations in here and it says, um, this uh, gentleman, a gentleman at the, at the phone at his computer, he says, Honey, something's come up, mind raising the kids. So we wanted to put humor in our book. So we wanted to have a moment where we can all laugh, because we can certainly do that when, when you're on the path of life and wham, you get whacked off. What you do to surround yourself with laughter and friends and support from your women friends is what matters. And that's what happened to me. One last story before I get off, because Jackie is here. Um, my husband, in six months, is diagnosed, operate on chemotherapy, and of course, he loses his battle. But for the great advice that I got from great friends, among them Jackie Spear, we live in the same neighborhood, and she not only gave me her love and support, and because we live in the same neighborhood, so it wasn't great to her casseroles, she also gave me some advice. And she said, Jan, for the funeral expenses, 
charge everything so you can earn airline miles. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did, and that's part of the book. And so I want to say thank you for having us, for me, for having me. I unfortunately have to run now to Fremont, California, because I'm chairing this wonderful event for Chrissy Yamaguchi's foundation. We're trying to raise money for a playground for handicapped kids in Fremont, which is her hometown. So I want to say thank you. Have a great evening. I really am sorry to, to dash off because I want to hear so much from my fellow authors, but I know you're in great hands. Thank you all.